What's up, YouTube family? I hope everybody's having a really good day. Hey, I told the Lord a long time ago, if you ever give me a prophetic word and you want me to share it, I'll share it. If you give me a prophetic dream, a vision, I'll share it. So I'm gonna share a very profound, it can be encouraging, but also a warning vision that I had the other day in prayer. And what I love about a God dream or a God vision is they are so profound. Every detail, the colors, the way everything is organized and arranged, they just, is absolutely mind blowing when God gives you a dream or vision. And it's so funny because when I'm in prayer, I never anticipate receiving one like I, I, I received them. So I was in prayer, it was by myself early one morning, and I was in our sanctuary and I was walking around praying and then all of a sudden I saw just this open vision, plain, visual, bright. And the first part of the vision was a gentleman, well-dressed man, and he was in a suit and I saw him from about, about his waist up. And I'm gonna say I saw him about, about this wide, didn't see his hands. And he was sitting there with a big smile on his face, looked like to be a very, um, a man that was successful and have life going and he had a smile up on his face. And then you kind of notice that his smile was changing a little. I almost want to say like a little bit of anxiety, maybe hiding something, a little bit of pain. I didn't know what it was. And then all of a sudden the vision widened out and there was a gentleman and he had his hands like this right here. And all of a sudden a snake, python snake in this, this vision, his hand was like this bit him like this. Now, didn't, you know, like completely swallow his hand, but bit him like this. And so there was like their hand, like the snake's mouth locked in this gentleman's hand. And the gentleman didn't pay any attention, but he was just looking straight forward, looking dignified and smiling, but you could tell he was struggling. Then his other hand was like this. And then like a snapping turtle, a huge turtle, grabbed his hand like this. Now, it didn't, like I said, swallow his hand, but in this vision that I saw, it probably say, say like this for about 10 seconds in the vision, the, the gentleman kind of had like a little grimace on his face, but he kept trying to look good. He was trying not to sweat and try to keep a smile on his face. And he had his hands and he was trying to crush out the, the snake in one hand, the turtle in the other one. And at some points, uh, the, these creatures would win. And then sometimes he would win back and forth. And so it's just like, it was the Lord was speaking to me about this so strong that the people a lot of times are trying to look good. They're trying to keep things together, but secretly the things they got their hands on are destroying them. Like I said, the gentleman was in a nice suit, um, well put together. But the thing was, things his hands were on, his hands, you know. And so in life, some people could be struggling with something. It could be pornography. It could be um, finances. It could be even a lot like eating a bunch of junk you're not supposed to. But what your hands are being put on, and I feel like this like physically, that you're fighting battles right now that sometimes you think you're winning, sometimes the battles are winning. Sometimes you're winning, sometimes the, the enemy's winning. And the Lord just so plainly, so plainly is speaking to me about this right here through this vision. After I had the vision, I started praying and the Lord said, people have their hands on things that at one point in their life, they thought they could control and they're in a battle. And so I just wanna encourage you today, spend time with God, get you some accountability, get you some people in your life that you can open up to. Tell them what you're, you're, you're struggling with. And there's so many times in life, uh, I, I talk to people, I've talked to people, people message me, you know, um, our YouTube uh, family and different people I know in our community may, may message me and they may say, man, I've done some inappropriate things with some money or um, I've dropped my morals, I've looked at something on the internet, I shouldn't run my phone. Sometimes I have, and people go into all this stuff, but what are you putting your hands on? And the thing is, the Bible says there's pleasure in sin for a season. 
And also, the Bible also says that anything done in secret will be exposed. So this is a warning. But also, in this vision, I could feel the loving redemption of our Savior. I'm telling you, God can restore you. And so, I, I just, when, when I saw that, it was like uh, the, you know, there was a double fight going on. Some people got their hands on one or more things. Man, you need to call upon the Lord and the Lord can set you free. And so I just want to encourage you. I think I called this the, the, the double bite fight. I mean, something like that. I mean, I, I saw in this vision, the man was trying to make this to fight, but he had something that he couldn't properly fight with. So take this literally. If that turtle was removed, that snake was removed, then the gentleman could fight properly. And so maybe what the Lord is speaking to different people is that there's some things that you need to remove so you can properly fight. You know, a lot of times when people are, are wanting breakthrough in their life or they're wanting something to happen, and, and they're like, oh God, heal me, oh God, deliver me, God set me free. The Lord has already set you free. He's waiting on you to do what you need to do to walk in that freedom. So I just wanna encourage you today Get free from whatever your hands are upon. And a lot of times it could be something like fear. It could be insecurity. It could be jealousy. You know, there's a lot of, um, of, of things going on. And one of my intercessors called me recently and said, one thing that's about to hit a lot of people is the spirit of jealousy because the anointing of the Lord is on a lot of people at a very strong level right now. People who have really been seeking him you know, in that place of prayer, they're about to walk in a favor and a blessing and a lot of things. Well, jealousy is going to be a big deal. Make sure you, you never speak against people when you're jealous. When, when other people succeed in life, celebrate them, congratulate them. And so this is a strong word. Now, the snake, I know exactly what it was. It was a python, and it was trying to get a hold. And, and a, when a python gets a hold, it's hard to get out of that, but you can be free from that. Man, a big old... Turtle, snapping turtle, loggerhead turtle. Boy, they can, they can do some damn thing about your hand off. And so I just want to tell you today, just get free from whatever this is. This vision, it, actually when I got it, I write stuff down for different words and stuff I'm going to share. But, but all day long, there's been like an urgency on getting this word out because it's, it's going to help somebody. It's going to set somebody free. You know, if you message me privately, man, I'll never share anything. I'll pray for you. Then I'll delete your email. I just want to pray for people. Um, go to our website, jojodawson.net. Go to the contact connect button, hit it. Um, where it says prayer, send me your prayer request. I'll pray for you. If you don't want to say, just say, hey, unspoken, whatever. But I want to pray for some people according to this vision because I want to see some people set free because this is a time that the Lord needs people set free. So hope this helped you and encouraged you.